Uh, Taurus, this is your beginning of May reading for this current year. Yay! This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. But I do feel like you guys are really confused about what the fuck it is you're trying to accomplish right here. Like, you're looking at one path, but, like... I don't know, it's just like, that one path is just like, this is action, you need to go now, this is not, this is like sticking around. And you're, but you're not even trying to look at it, but it's like you don't know if you should go ahead and take off or not, it's like you're hesitating. Um, if you want a personal reading from me, my um, email, Facebook page, and my Instagram is down below, you can all hit me up there. I'm also doing a live stream tonight where you guys can ask questions for whatever. So, come on down. This should start around like 7, 8 o'clock, but I'm pretty sure I'll probably like start a little bit later. Well, 7, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, because that's where the fuck I live. Anyway, now that we're all done with the formalities, let us begin, Taurus. Oh, you got seven of swords. You're dragging some shit, right? Wants and wishes, King of Pentacles reverse. Fears and rejections, the two of fucking swords making a decision. Um, eight of pentacles. Eight of swords. Hmm. That's your challenges and obstacles coming against you. Six of pentacles reversed in the catalyst as well as the final result in the beginning theme is seven of wands defending yourself, trying to win the battle, fending off those who are coming against you. Crazy tasty. Who says that? That was a commercial I want, once watched years ago. I don't remember what the fuck it was. Crazy people. Is it Quiznos? Could have been Quiznos. I don't know. Fun fact, we used to have a Quiznos in a Clarksburg, but the owner like stole the money and, and, and fled the state. I think to Florida. I can't remember. That was just kind of like... Why? Just why? But it's whatever. Okay, so. Ooh, Seven of Swords talks about sneaking away um i don't necessarily think this is entirely naughty but the fact that you're sneaking away makes it naughty in itself and we have the knight of swords who came up too it's like not only you're sneaking away it's almost like okay Knight of Swords is going into battle. Um, verbal talking, quick talking, um, word salads, you know, just jumbling things to make people be like, what the fuck did that even mean? You know? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, how are you, why would you sneak away but also be gearing up for a verbal battle too because they're both mental? Or are you mentally preparing yourself to just take on this initiative, this action, right? You're just trying to, like, figure out how you're going to do about it. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles in the situation. You're working on something that's inspiring you to try to sneak away and gear up for battle and such. Or this could be somebody you're dealing with, too. It doesn't really have to be you. Um, you're trying to work on stuff, but you're definitely sitting here feeling like... The recuperation is going to take longer than what you think it is. Like there, there, there's definitely a draw to be like, almost maybe I'm wrong. Like this is actually a decent amount of swords for you, Taurus. Like you definitely have some thoughts on your head, but it's like you're trying to work on something, but it's like something is uh, almost interrupting your thoughts when you try to process this shit. This also could be you working to get out of this mentality, but I don't feel as much. Like once again, communication. Uh, possibly Aquarius involved. Somebody might have told you something and it just keeps fucking with your brain. Or somebody, maybe the Aquarius came in and like jumbled some of your stuff. Um, King of Pentacles reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, someone who's not very grounded, very stable. Um, kind of a con. This could be you, Taurus. You could be being a little liar because sometimes, like, he is that. Maybe you're pretending to be this kind, sweet person. 
I'm just saying, like, Seven of Swords is here. So if some of you are trying to get away with something, because I know a couple of Tauruses who are, um, like, males who are just, like, up to some shit, and it's just kind of like, why are you guys doing that for? Not so much females. Females are usually pretty, like, open with how, except when they're stalking. But other than that, like, um, usually the females are way more open. Like, they're not prone to, like, sneaking around. But it's just like someone doesn't feel like they're in good nature because they have to pretend. It's like someone's pretending to be, um, it's almost like this dude is pretending to be all light and fluffy when in reality he's ungrounding himself a little bit. We got the Seven of Swords right here. That's your, ow, <laughs> the challenge and obstacle against you. You want to get out of this mental entrapment that you feel like you've gotten yourself in communication once again with an Aquarius or some Aquarius might have like communication with an Aquarius has bound your position or maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius or maybe just the fact that you can't communicate as clearly as you want or you want to communicate is what's suffocating you also could have been a, like just carry out here because this is just a random thought. Because, uh, what was it, like, six months ago, something like this happened. It could be somebody feels like an Aquarius left a spell on them. One that they aren't even aware of. Which is kind of explains, like, the four of swords reversed right here for me. Like, you know, just my own little position from, like, other clients I have dealt with. <laughs> so if you're watching, I hope you understand, um... I mean, it could be communication, but I really feel like someone, like, put somebody in a head space. Um, two of swords, fears and rejections. You're trying to figure out what to do with a relationship of some sort. It doesn't have to be romantic, but it is the two of cups, so there is some feeling in all that shit. In case you're wondering what Gretchen is, she's right here. She's just in the shadows watching us like the dark night. Right? The catalyst as well as the beginning. Well, that's the same fucking word. Catalyst was the final result, the beginning and the end. Six of Pentacles. Um, which is weird. It's like, here's two people. Here's this guy bestowing on this person, but this one's in the shadow. And it's like, I feel like that's you in, like, it's almost like you are the person who's getting all the stuff, the coins thrown onto them, as well as the person in the shadow. But, or maybe you're observing these two people enjoying each other while you're in the shadows. Because, I mean, you're trying to get away anyway. It's like distraction. Almost, right? Yeah, you're definitely trying to end things because, you know, like, you being in this position or is not very good. Like, you don't want... You're trying to detach yourself emotionally from all of this. Despite the investment you put in. Because, you know, there's no balance here. Like, whoever this totem dude is giving his energy to... Um... It's all gonna give in to that person while this other one is just left in the background like they don't fucking matter. And the ending theme is the Queen of Cups. Could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Which is like fucking weird because I don't know, it just feels like this water sign. If this isn't you, Taurus, it's almost like they're pretending to be kind, but in reality, like they're still like putting up a lot of fences and trying to be very very attack like it's like they're sitting there offering their cup and then the next thing you know it's just like things just come at them all at once and it's like ooh, okay pull three cards for you i feel like someone's desperate yeah, um, hesitation when it comes to the leap of faith. Not really being sure if you can, uh, do it or not. Do it. You know? In my best shine the buff voice. Um, oh, really? So this showed up reversed, but then it, like, hopped in my hand when I was trying to move it, and it put itself right back up. So it's like, um... Secrets might come out, but they're not coming out just yet. That's what it, that feels like. 
definitely a lot of shit kept under wraps. Definitely a lot of things, um... Hmm. And this right here <laughs> feels like someone just doesn't know how to get out of the burning woods. Someone doesn't know how to get out of the fire. Oh, dear. Now, mind you, this doesn't have to be your Taurus. This could be just someone you're dealing with, but it definitely feels like someone is, uh... I, it really feels like someone's desperate. And I know, like, three people minimum, maybe ten. For some reason, I find choruses everywhere, but it's like, someone is desperate, and they're just putting on a show. And now the Queen of Cups, after she fell, is reversed, so it's like... I think you're very aware of whoever this is. Either this is you, or someone you're dealing with, or this could be cross-watchers too. Someone's pretending very visibly to be kind and, and shit, and then like, at some point they're gonna go on the defense, so I don't know. Um, but, that's it for this. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you guys later. Hopefully, some of you will join me for my live stream tonight. If not, oh well, it doesn't really matter. I'll probably just still do the same shit I do anyway. Um, but I will see you guys. Bye-bye.